most of our beliefs, we get them from our senses. Here's a question then. Which of these beliefs can we be absolutely certain of? Or to put it differently, which of the beliefs that we have acquired from our senses can be doubted? Take an example. How can you be certain that right now, you're sitting on a chair or wherever you are and are watching this video? You might say that you can hear my voice, see my face, but our senses sometimes deceive us, right? So for example, if you walk into a room that is lit with red light, you can't really make out any difference between a white kurta and a red kurta. To this, you might say, not a good example. Under ordinary circumstances, our senses are quite reliable. And you might want to add that there is no reason to assume that this is anything but an ordinary situation. But can you be certain that this is no extraordinary situation? What if you are dreaming? I mean, we don't really realize that we were dreaming till we wake up, right? And our dreams appear quite real. So maybe this is just a very realistic dream that you're having. If you entertain that possibility, you can't really be certain that you are watching this video. And it gets worse. Dreams end, we wake up, and we might be hopeful that except when we are dreaming, or when our senses have been otherwise deceived, we can be certain of what we perceive. But think for a moment. How is it that we perceive something? Without getting the details, we can say that nerve endings from our sense organs, they carry electrical impulses which are then interpreted by the brain. Now imagine there is a mad scientist who is feeding electrical signals directly to your brain, mimicking how our sense organs work. In such a scenario, all the memories that you have of things that you have seen, heard, felt, tasted, they're actually in fact the result of experiments being done on you by this evil genius. Can you disprove such a scenario? And if no, is there anything that you can be certain of? Join us for the BA major in philosophy here at Azim Tim University and explore the lessons that can be drawn from such radical skepticism in our introduction to philosophy course. Till then, keep doubting, keep thinking.